when the speaker has been uh, calling for assembly prior to that, 3rd of, uh, 3rd of uh, March, and uh, he also uh, uh, have to call the assembly because the official date for Pakatan Rakyat to have our, f our last sitting on was on the 3rd of March, under the, underneath the 3. So which means that um, he called for uh, another meeting uh, bef before the six months uh, elapsed. So that's the reason why we had another meeting on the 2nd of uh, September, which means as far as Pakatan Rakyat is concerned, therefore we, uh, we have fulfilled the requirement within the six months. Now the reason why um, he called another one, primarily because uh, the, the unlawful speaker, a man by the name of uh, Ganesan, Dato Ganesan, he called uh, for assembly on the 28th. Now, because a letter came to us, so we thought that we could not attend the assembly because he, he is unlawful and uh, he's illegitimate. At the same time, uh, he lied to the parakians. So there is no reason that we, we, we shall attend. However, for us to make sure that uh, we can attend the, uh, the session, therefore, why be uh, Siva Kumar acting as a speaker uh, would do the same as well. So it is in his capacity, and the prerogative belongs to him, to call for another assembly. Uh, on the same day and same time. So the, the reason why he called uh, is because he's trying to exercise his own power and prerogative as a speaker so that it, uh, it legitimizes our presence. Because we cannot uh, present ourselves based on the letter that we receive, the notice for, for the session, until and unless the, the rightful speaker uh, commands us to attend, then I think it looks uh, consistent for us to be there. We have to also understand that under the Para rules and the Para constitution, that if you fail to attend uh, two assemblies consecutively, then you uh, you will just lose your position as as an assemblyman. Yeah. So if you do not present yourself on two consecutive sessions, then automatically you'll be your your seat is vacated. Then you have to have a new by-election. So, in a way, to fulfill the requirements of the para constitution, we, we have to attend. But it must be consistent with our stand in saying that he is illegitimate. So, it's not just a question of, okay, uh, we can say, let, just, just boycott it because uh, he's illegitimate. But then, in the records, in the records that we, we did not attend. So, which means that what would happen if he calls for another session? I mean, the, the unlawful speaker calls for another session, maybe a week or a month, uh, a month's time. So it looks bad on us uh, not to go there uh, because we already have, pre have, have absent ourselves in this coming session. So in order to look uh, consistent, therefore we must attend. So it's, there's no question of uh, boycotting because to fulfill the requirement of the Paraguay Constitution. Now we have to look uh, from, from two angles. Number one, if it is during our time, if it is the, the starting of a session, then you only need to have you only need to have the, the, the royal uh, uh, consent to, to agree with the dates that is proposed by the speaker. Okay? That means it's a question of just informing uh, officially. Right? Now, <coughs> having had the, the first session, then the next consecutive session, then you, you don't have to have uh, the ruler's consent because he attended the first one, which he has already been uh, made known and he is fully informed of, or fully uh, informed of the dates. Therefore, it is, um, it is just by convention, you know, that he has to be informed and he has to approve the dates. From very reliable sources uh, within the state government, where many of them are, are very still close with us, uh, they have informed that, uh, that this unlawful uh, speaker by the name of uh, Ghanesan, he has uh, more or less put a, a threat in, in the papers that I've read that he will do everything possible <coughs> to uh, prevent any form of, um, any form of um, uh, say for instance, um, uproar or even uh, fracas or ruckus. Um, so we, we thought that um, since on the 7th of May, um, they went to the extent that this is beyond our imagination. You know, by bringing in police forces to 
to force Shiva Kumar and unseated, unseated him. Therefore, we thought that if those are the things beyond our thinking they did, which means that on the 28th, we forecasted, we foresee and anticipated that they might do even much further. Now, on that count, I read the statement by, by this uh, unlawful man who claimed to say, impose himself as, as a speaker. He said that he would do everything possible based on his, uh, his prerogative as, as a speaker. So these sources mentioned to me that they have dismissed the existing uh, surgeon of arms and they have appointed 15 new surgeon of arms. These are the uh, the, the, the tax, yeah? they would employ those tax uh, to do everything possible to prevent any sort of, uh, any sort of uh, disruption in the house uh, and they accused Pakataraya as the as uh, an initiator of it. So <coughs> I want to make it plain clear that that uh, this information means that uh, they've been abusing their power primarily to, to crush us. I think by him appointing those so-called sergeant of arms uh, to defend the corrupt power, the usurp of power, I think um, we have to be very prepared for it. So my anticipation what happens on the 28th, even though um, we believe that if the, the speaker by the name of Garnison uh, sits on the speaker's seat, that is our prerogative to, to, to request and uh, ask him to, to leave because he is not a member of the Dewan Legislative Assembly therefore the rightful speaker will be, will be put there so maybe in, in that process there will be some, some turmoil and upheaval but as a responsible leaders of Pakatara Ayat um, we will um, just say you know, whatever we need to say so that uh, the public will know that he being there is obviously unlawful and illegal therefore we would like to put the, the rightful speaker to be there so in that process, there may be some, some uh, shoutings and what yelling, but uh, that's quite usual. Okay, so you would expect that. So if uh, if the public uh, is aware that the challenges and the threats made by this man called Gunnison in the paper, and the sources of the information that I heard that they will do everything possible to to proceed with the power that that usurp the power that they have at the moment. So we we hope um, it will not go to that worst extent. It, it, it is not a dilemma that we are caught in a quandary uh, because the fact that we, we are present uh, based on the legal and the rightful uh, notice uh, by, by, this, by the rightful speaker. So which means it's very clear that we present ourselves because there is a directive from the speaker. What well, the chances is, is very clear based on the uh, para constitution. Okay. And number two, uh, based on the judgment made by the, uh, uh, the Kuala Lumpur High Court by uh, Justice, uh, Justice uh, Aziz that, um, that we are the rightful government. But what I did on that particular evening was I presented a letter to the, the Pilot Royal Palace uh, which I was not allowed to enter anyway but the contents of the letter is that since the High Court um, has made a judgment that we are the rightful and the rightful government. Therefore, we want to seek the consent of the ruler uh, to dissolve. Okay, that shows that from the bottom of our heart that we do not want to usurp the power and abuse the power. Since the High Court has more or less made uh, a landmark judgment that we are the rightful um, government, then we want to give it back to the people of Pera and, and, and um, dissolve the State Legislative Assembly and choose the rightful government. So that was about our intention. Now, if the Parakians make their own choice for whichever government, we'll accept it. So which means that your question, uh, how far we believe, that will be the ultimate, penultimate, what, the ultimate decision. You know, that action needs to be done is to dissolve the legisl legislative assembly and let the people decide. So that's the only remedy available. All other remedies that they have, they have done by, by selecting their own speaker, by having uh, another seating, is not going to be normal.